I wonder why the country keeps boring and boring and boring and boring. Where is this going to lead Nigeria? Because if the country is bent on boring, boring for what exactly? They borrow from other countries, they borrow from within, they borrow from central bank. They just keep borrowing and borrowing until the country is in a terrible debt and it, the debt that the country would have owed will not be able to be paid. And at the end of it all, you hear that Nigeria has been sold out. Like somebody said, well, even if you want to sell Nigeria, please don't sell it to outsiders. Sell it to an insider so that we'll still have the same mentality. We'll know, okay, it is we. we. Instead of selling it to outsiders, that Nigerians will have to go back to slavery. And that person is right. Because if we continue with this habit of borrowing and borrowing, it will land us in a place where we never thought. Because when we cannot pay back some of these debts, they begin to use Nigerians to negotiate. We don't even know why Boko Haram is even harassing Nigerians. It could be perhaps Nigeria has even borrowed something from them that they are negotiating with the lives of Nigerians. We never can tell where this is coming from. And they keep pretending and acting like they are fighting against these guys. But yet, these guys keep acquiring stuff from them. Imagine how they said they fought Boko Haram. You know, they, 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 they were able to withstand there. But at the end of the day, Boko Haram still sent out photographs on the number of vehicles, armored cars they took from the Nigerian army. They will not report all of that. If not that Boko Haram has reported that. And Boko Haram keep countering the nigerian army in whatever thing the nigerian army comes to tell nigerians so obviously they should know that there's no place for all these lies that they are telling anymore they are the ones exposing themselves the more they do it the more they expose themselves but anyway let us see how much nigeria is borrowing this time around because of course senate has already approved the amount and what exactly they want to use this money for more of all of these details you'll find out in this report but please if you have not subscribed to our channel what are you waiting for please hit the subscribe button give this video a thumbs up turn on the notification bell and also don't forget to like this video. All right, guys, without further ado, right here it says that the Senate has approved fresh external loans of the $1.5 billion and the £995 million pounds for the federal government. The senators approved the loan after considering the report of its Committee on Local and Foreign Debts during Wednesday's plenary session. Nigerians' debt, public debt hit a total of 31.01 trillion naira at the end of June 2020, according to the Debt Management Office, meaning as at that time, the country's debt had risen by 18.89 trillion naira in five years under the President Mohamed Buhari. At the end of June 2015, one month after Buhari came into power, the country's debt profile stood at 12.12 .12 trillion naira. Obviously, you can see that Nigeria is in a terrible debt state because now Senate only approved fresh external loans. So obviously, you can see this is not even from within. This is from without. And remember that Obaseki also busted the federal government saying that they printed about 60 billion naira. But of course, remember how the Minister of Finance denied that they printed it. But of course, we also saw how CBN uh, uh, tried to uh, come through for that report. But unfortunately, he made it very known that indeed it was printed because he said their duty was to always give to the government whenever they request or whenever whenever they ask for money. So obviously that has actually proven that it is true that they printed about 60 billion naira. But again, why are they uh, borrowing about 1.5 billion dollars? Uh, they are borrowing 1.5 billion dollars. Do you know how much that is? For what exactly? The country is already in already in a huge debt. And they keep borrowing and borrowing. At the end of the day, they will tell IMF to just cancel their debt and all of that. You know, that was something the president actually considered some time ago, begging IMF to help cancel their debt. Like, who does that? Where you were borrowing the money, especially a country like this, where most of all these monies, we don't know where they go into. We don't know what they use them for. Even when they claim allocations, part of it are already embezzled and all of that. You see state governors, you see senators, sitting governors and all of them. 
Monies are meant to run the state. They use it for personal gains. Imagine the number of houses, the number of uh, 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 investment they have in the UAE, that even the UAE government has exposed some of them, not only in the UAE, in some other foreign countries, like in the UK and other countries. They have serious investment there. From where are they getting these monies? These are exactly the reason Nigeria should even begin to probe every politician. Every garden politician should be probed. This is your salary. Okay, this is what and what you are doing. Why do you have such amount in your account? You know, that is what other progressing countries do. You cannot have more than certain amount. In fact, you'll be probed. If you can stand up right for yourself to tell the truth or tell yourself, okay, I'm into this business. This is what comes in per year. This is what comes in per month. Then they will let you go. Nobody will hold you for anything. But if you cannot give account of how you made your money, you should be probed and you should be prosecuted. But here, nobody is being probed. Nobody is being prosecuted. At the end of the day, one person is pretending he has kidney problem. Another is pretending they have liver problem. At the end of the day, that case is forgotten and it is gone and gone for good. But the major part is how they, majorly what they do is witch hunting. If you are not in my party, then I can witch hunt you and, you know, we have to bring you down. But a growing economy, a, an economy that wants to succeed, whether you are in government, whether you are not, if certain amount is in your account that is not supposed to be, we should know why such money is in your account. Yes, I remember how in America, they, when uh, uh, the Kardashian uh, youngest daughter, you know, she was probed by the government why she has such huge amounts. And she was able to stand to talk about the kind of business she run. And, you know, a few years ago, she was named the richest, young richest uh, 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 youth in the world. So obviously, you can see those are people that are doing things with their life. Not our politicians that sit in the office, sleep all day, and at the end of the month, they have money more than those who really work hard for the country. This is, this is actually showing that this is a country that would not succeed. Obviously, it shows this is a country that will not succeed. And now our government is bent on just boring and boring and boring and boring. This is only going to land us in serious trouble if we continue this boring. Because it is not even good for people to borrow. Even the Bible says it. You know, it is not good to borrow. But imagine now they said in 2015... Uh, when Buhari came into office, he was, you know, the debt the country owed was about 12.12 trillion naira. But as of today, that is five years down the line, we are over 18 point whatever trillion naira. And we are still going. I don't know if this recent uh, 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 um, money is ad added to it. But it is terrible that we continue to borrow. For what exactly? Why don't we generate enough money for, from this country? There's enough, uh, you know, mineral resources in this country that can generate good income for Nigeria. But what are we doing with it? We are wasting it all. So, dear friends, that is it from here. Thank you so much for listening. Please drop your comments and also give this video a thumbs up. Do have a pleasant time. Bye for now.